Hi, this is Gail. Welcome to my channel. Today I am here to show you an ephemera binder that I have made. Um, Lori from Grammy's Keepsakes and I got together to do some crafting at her house a week or so ago and um, she was able to get these binders. It's a three ring binder as you'll see in a minute and um, she kept one for herself and gave me one and together we made we each made an ephemera binder because I never seem to have enough ephemera folders or binders to keep all my goodies in so let me show you what we did this actually um, was one of these let me show you I'm sure you recognize how you will get, this was a flower book, you know, and it had the fold out page and yada yada. Well, and there were lots and lots of pages in here. And so we decided we would start with 30 pages like this. And you can see, I did not put anything on the pages. I simply glued this part that folds out down which made this card a little more solid and then uh, Lori cut the plastic little pockets for us and then I did sewing this there are a couple here that I have not sewn yet and then so I have pockets on both sides and I thought it was kind of fun to just leave it open so you could see what was underneath and since this is going to basically be um, a botanical uh, ephemera binder, then you could kind of see beneath and see some ephemera. So I thought that was a pretty cool idea. So anyhow, I can't remember what color it even was to begin with now, but I know there's a glare, so that's why I'm holding this up. So I decided I really liked this color. It was called... Um, Caribbean and this is just an apple barrel paint so uh, painted some I don't know perhaps two coats one or two coats on it first and you will see and then here I did put this cool little ephemera uh, book plate the back I didn't do anything but paint. I thought that was enough. I had ideas, but then I thought, why? It's not really going to show. I thought about you know stenciling a flower here, but decided against it. So I chose to use the front as the area that I did some uh, creating on. And so I painted it, and then I did some stenciling. And you'll see this was bubble wrap underneath here. And I thought it was too bright. I used another paint, can't remember the name, it was light Caribbean only darker. And I thought it just made, it was too much. So then I painted it back. And then I did some stenciling, a little bit of stamping um, in the background. And then I found uh, uh, these flower stencils and did them in the two different colors and then added a butterfly here and here and then the little fairy and of course this quote was also a stencil um, this is just the first part of it art is just another way of expressing our innermost thoughts onto concrete media which is so true so anyhow I put everything on and then I decided I really wanted it to have a crackled effect um, and so I used the Tim Holtz uh, crackle um, media on it and I don't know I did three coats and I still don't feel like I got the crackle that I wanted there you can see some of it there so up in here it seemed to crackle and in here over here where I really wanted it to where the binder had a flaw didn't seem to do so and not much on the bottom either so 
I tried, just didn't seem to get the effects that I wanted. But I really liked this teal and lavender and purple together. And of course, the adorable little fairy. So then on the inside, I do believe I'm going to put pockets on the front and back. But I think I'll use like a, a heavy, almost like a cardstock, a file folder with this print on it. But right now, my both of my printers are low on yellow ink. So I'm going to have to wait till that comes in. But so this beautiful marbled paper um, is just lovely in here. I really like how it looks. But I think with a pocket in the front and in the back, that will give a little space for when you have things that have to get folded or are placed in the, the the ephemera binder, some place for you to put them while you're waiting to put them in or until you have a minute to put them in. But I don't think that leaving the pages with the design in the background and not covering that up, I don't think that really takes away from the items that are in the little pockets. You can still see what's in there and kind of see what's behind, which which I kind of like. So you get the idea. Um, and so it's going to be strictly botanicals as I finish putting everything in. And now back here, you can see this is the back with that beautiful paper. It is just scrumptious marbled paper. And I believe this came from Nick the Booksmith. So pretty cool. But anyhow, lots of room in here to put ephemera and I'm excited to be able to use it. So that also is one of the things that I have made recently. So I hope that might have inspired you to go find an old binder, paint it and stencil and stamp on it and put in some pockets and uh, see if you can make it into an ephemera binder. So just want to say thank you for stopping by. Thank you for your support. Uh, those of you who have been with me a while and hopefully some new people trying to get to that 700 mark, just barely over 600 right now, but uh, working towards that. And uh, so I hope that this has inspired you to go out and make something. Go out and have some fun, but stay healthy. Bye.